Internet, I'm about to do a thing that's not making me feel super cash money, I'm not gonna lie. But in a previous video, I may have slandered a teeny tiny bit the 99 Hyper Series carry wood. Some of you thought I was wrong, and I am open to being wrong. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to pitch with carry wood. My reasons for slandering carry wood are simply that I don't think he offers that much, but Maybe he's deceptive, maybe he's funky, gross, nasty, maybe he is man's best friend. So we're going to give him a go in ranked seasons. It's on Hall of Fame difficulty, there are going to be foul balls aplenty, and hopefully I don't rage. In this series, by the way, my goal is to make you a better pitcher. You're going to see every single pitch I throw with Kerry Wood, and we're even going to sprinkle in, like Salt Bay, a little bit of offense, because you guys like to see my hitting for some strange reason. I'm not good at the plate, but you guys ask, I deliver. So let's go take a look at what Kerry Wood's got. We'll get into a game. We'll have some fun. So here he is, our boy, Kerry Wood. Four-seamer, throws it hard. He's got a slurve, he's got a 12-6, he's got a cutter, he's got a changeup. I think the key to pitching with Kerry Wood is actually to not use the fastball that much, and we're going to use the fastball as a surprise pitch. We're going to be living with cutters and slurves and changeups and etc., but we'll see what the opponent lets us dictate. He's got nice K per nine, hits per nine's not bad, stamina is a myth, so it doesn't matter. The pitching clutch is great, and the breaks are phenomenal. Plus, when we're talking quirks, we've got that outlier, we've got homebody, we've got night player. So we're going to try to get a night game at home. The problem with Kerry is this. Look at those controls. Um, we don't know where the ball's going. And let me tell you, that frightens me to my core. But we're going to do our best. So we are 38 and 4. We're doing swell. We're rated 757. Let's go give Kerry Wood a whirl. And our opponent today, our new friend, is Ole Miss Rebels, Tanner Huck, Hauk, Hook. We're the home team. And our opponent's record is dot, dot, dot. We're waiting on it. 15 and 3. Not a ton of games, but a very good record. We start off with a changeup. I do not want my opponent sitting on a fastball. He hit the piss out of it, George Brett, and it's a leadoff single. We are in danger. He should not have been ready for that changeup. He just simply should not have been. It was a really good swing. I want to test the patience on the 12-6. Now, if for some reason, Kerry Wood either doesn't play well, or we get an early quit, or something happens. Strike one, love that. Uh, he is event eligible, so that's good. Cutter, in, fists. Lovely. That's an excellent pitch. I kind of feel like Brian Roberts is going to run soon. It's a great spot. I don't know how you don't swing at that. The slurve should be deadly against the lefty. He got a great jump. Oh, no, he's out. He's to oh. That was a great throw, and I'm upset. Let's just throw a cutter. Got him. Okay, one out. Thank goodness. Um, I cannot believe Ryan Roberts was safe there. I know he slid to the back of the bag, but kind of stunned by that. We can't live on the cutter, but I'm going to throw it until my boy recognizes it, and he doesn't yet. Slurve low. Okay, he did a little, little jabby at it. The point of carry wood is to keep your opponent off balance. If they start sitting fastball and hitting fastball... You're in danger. Because the fastball, even though it's outlier, is pin straight. Up in the zone? Too high. I wonder if we can try the changeup again. What a take. All right. Let's get him fishing on a slurve. Right down the middle. Strike out again somehow. We got two strikeouts. Bad pitch. Maybe good pitch selection. He clearly wasn't expecting it. I don't know what we go to here. Let's try a cutter away so we don't just keep living inside the lefties. We Great pitch. Uh, we cannot live in the same spots constantly, right? Four-seamer in. I, the weirdest swing I've ever seen. All right, leadoff single, which he hit well. It was kind of botched over at third base. Ends up being nothing. Stolen base, nothing. We got two strikeouts. Nice inning by Carey. Jimmy Rollins with a leadoff. Perfect, perfect dingy doodle, baby. Oh my goodness, are we hot? I haven't warmed up today. Ding dong, boys, one nothing. Babe, okay. A two strike hit, a little opposite field slappy poo poo. 
69 speed on first. Very nice. Let's keep the train moving. First pitch sinker inside. <gasps> oh, I'm a wizard. First pitch sinker inside. Perfect, perfect. Mookie bets. Nookie bets. He's here. That stinks, though, because now we have to go play the events with Kerry Wood. Well, we're up to 782. Kerry Wood with a shutout inning and the win. He's perfect. He's amazing. You should use him. The fact that we threw, what, like 14 and a half pitches with Kerry Wood and it's like he just ran a marathon is ridiculous to me. Either way, to the event we go. I'm just now realizing that my Mookie Betts home run got erased off the face of planet Earth and I was 0 for 4 in my first game with Mookie, so that saddens me. It saddens me to my core. But either way, we're in the event. It is not an advantageous event for right-handed pitchers. Results may vary. We're basically only going to teach you how to pitch to lefties. I hate my opponent for quitting now. Either way, this should be valuable for you. And we're at Capital Lang! What a terrible situation and turn of events this has become. Well, here we are. one nothing. How silly and stupid it is here. 2-0. How silly and stupid it is here. 3-0. How silly and stupid it is here. Moving on to the next game, I suppose. And here we go. Okay, we've got runners on the corners because of two dinky doodle singles. Maybe Carlos Santana can actually hit the ball with authority and give us a little bit of a lead for Mr. Carey. He can't, but it's going to be a sack fly. And we don't hate sack flies. I didn't know what to say there. Kind of stumbled on my words. We'll take a 1-0 lead. We're also playing in Tampa. This place is a canyon, so hopefully my opponent doesn't quit. Eduardo Escobar. Okay, so the boys are hot today somehow. I don't know how this happened. I don't know when it happened. I don't know where it happened. I warmed up zero before recording today, and all we can do is hit nukes. All right, so we're only going to be facing left-handed sticks. And in my opinion, the best way to attack left-handed batters with wood is to jam them inside and then slowly get their eyes at least working outside. All right, so he was early on the four-seamer up and in, but did not have good PCI placement. That's good knowledge. Because if he's early on that, well, good timing. It looked like he swung early. He should be earlier on this cutter. A lot of people, when they go up against Kerry Wood, early swing, they are just going to be sitting on the four seam. So we want to change their timing. Okay, somehow he made contact with that changeup outside. Bellinger's jogging. He got there. Two outs. Weak contact both times. This is also occasionally a pretty good pitch to throw when the pinpoint's better. This slurve that kind of just touches the outside corner of the zone. Like I said, that was a bad execution, but a good idea. We go back to the cutter inside. The goal of the cutter inside, of course we want chases, of course we want weak contact, but eventually we can get it to the point where he just expects the ball to keep moving in and we could just plant a four-seamer inside corner. He swung late at that, maybe he read it late, whatever. That's the general strategy. We're cruising in this video, by the way. It's going to be the shortest thing any of you have ever seen. All right, back to work with Kerry Wood. Another way you could pitch to lefties, though I don't advocate for this, is just to live outside. People are going to be so horned up for that fastball. They're going to be so early on it that anything outside, they should just inherently roll over or pop up. So here we go, staying away. That's a phenomenal swing. And then you could drop the piece de resistance in, a slurve right at the PP tip. That was a bad location based on what I was saying, but I can't believe he took that. The other thing you could do is if they get swing happy, you drop a 12-6 below the zone. An effective pitch to occasionally mix in there. So he's showing some good discipline, so we're just going to go back to our bread and butter cutter. I love how that rhymed. Goodbye. Thank you. You can't check swing three times in a row. It's simply physically impossible. Ask Neil deGrasse Tyson. Here comes the slurve on the outside part. It's a rollover pitch. I don't even know what that swing was. And then to mess with the timing, this starts at the same spot as the slurve, but it stays up. Perfect. And then, just because we're feeling frisky, we'll throw a good old four-seamer above the zone. Oh, he hit that pretty well, but toodaloo, you're out anyway. You're out anyway. Not a big deal. 
So our last batter in this game, at least for Kerry, will be Kbert Ruiz. We're going to stay inside with him. He's got a quick swing. There you go. There you go. So if he's early on that, he's going to be earlier on this. That's how we pitch. We read timing. There you go. And then, how do we want to get him out? Maybe a little weak ground ball to the middle infield with this bad boy? Oh, he fouled it off, which I don't think you should be able to do. If you really want to throw something, not a ton, but sometimes this cutter outside should work as well. Not in that situation. And that's why I said not to do it a lot. <laughs> Good swing. Cabert's cracked. That was actually a fantastic swing. Probably not a smart pitch to throw, but now I've at least taught you not to throw it. That's also part of the how to pitch with series. You learn what not to do. Four seamer in, four seamer down the deck. This is where Kerry Wood starts to struggle. We're in the yellow and he's got bad control as is. I'm just doing this to get us through the inning and for the content. But this is fine. We've gotten two strikes with fastballs. No shot on this slurve. Goodbye. Nope, foul ball. Okay, what do we throw, chat? Cur uh, cutter, bread and butter. Okay, we're fighting, we're fighting. What are we thinking? Slurve at the peepee -pee again? Located properly? Okay, it's a foul ball fest now. That's just because we don't have a lot of energy left. I'm not overly concerned about the results anymore right now. Just trying to get through the inning. I don't know how we're going to get through the inning, but we're, we're going to find a way. Maybe this will finally be the time he takes the four-seamer in. Nope, he hit the piss at it. That's an out-of-energy homer. All right, I'm just going to move on to the next video. I'm going to take Kerry out. Clearly, his day is done in this situation. Not a big deal. We'll just see in the next game. All righty, back on the mound. What will hopefully be our final two innings of this video. Because uh, getting quits and having to play events can be frustrating when you're trying to record wonderful content for the internet. But here we are. This is the life of an MLB The Show creator, I suppose. We're going to go back to staying inside. Early on the cutter after the fastball in. That is a given. That is what we're trying to cook with all the time. Then every once in a while, we're just going to throw something outside just to keep the eyes moving out there. Keeping them honest. What I would love is if we swung over the top of this changeup. Mm, the foul balls are a killer. The all-star foul balls are a killer. Here's my my return here or my, my analysis on Kerry Wood. Good take. Um, I don't think Kerry Wood is good on All-Star. Don't use him there. I don't think he's great on Hall of Fame either. Maybe he's a little better on Hall of Fame, but there's too many foul balls. I think Kerry Wood is viable on Legend almost exclusively. That's maybe the worst hit I've ever given up. I suppose if you want to give him a try and you're good with him, go for it. I just don't think Kerry Wood actually has an out pitch on anything but Legend. And on Legend, that out pitch is the fastball. And again, I recognize we're only facing lefty sticks here in this event, and that makes things supremely difficult. That's kind of why, even though, like, obviously I'm happy I got the ranked win. What kind of catch was that? I'm happy I got the ranked win. Um, I wish he would have stayed, because we could have faced a more diverse lineup. But I guess also, on the other hand, there are so many switch hitting. What a swing. So many switch hitting boost teams right now that everybody's a left-handed bat. Um, that was a really good swing. I don't know if that slurve got exactly where I wanted, but regardless, neither here nor there. Uh, carry wood for me, not my cup of tea. And I kind of thought I knew that going in. Um, but I also want to make it abundantly clear as I'm now throwing a second straight fastball away. What I say ain't gospel. Right? Like, if you're good with someone, use the person. Whether I like them or not. Whether any of your favorite content creators like that card or not. That was a swing. I'm upset. Use your cards. Use whichever cards you like. If you like Kerry Wood, you think he's a demon? I'm proud. I'm happy for you. Just for me, not the case. As you can see, we're laboring through the first inning. There we go. So, he did let up a fluky hit to Yelich. Then we got two weak outs. And then an absolute moon tater from Jerickson Profar. Which means we're not throwing slurves inside anymore. But otherwise, we've gotten, like, decently weak contact. A lot of foul balls, of course, but that's just how this game is. Let's go back to the changeup again, because he's always so early on this damn thing. Yeah. So the changeup maybe was the move from the start. 
I'll see if I can get one more inning in with Kerry Wood or at the very least a couple batters just to show you guys and kind of put a bow on the whole thing. So my last analysis here on Kerry Wood is that I think I'm not good with him because I enjoy more pitch to contact type of pitchers. And I think if you pitch to contact with Kerry Wood, you're prone to letting up ding-dongs as we've already seen in this video. I like guys who can really mix speeds, get weak contact like that. Um, if you learn how to exploit your opponent kind of like we're doing to this guy with the change-ups away lately after that home run. Uh, things can work out. I just, I think Kerry Wood is kind of a one-trick pony. He's not deceptive enough in his release. His pitches aren't meta enough, even though he has the cutter. Just not my favorite. And that's simply it. But as you can see, we have leaned on this change-up away to the lefty, and he's been so out in front every time. Continues to be so out in front. We've got a lot of weak contact with that pitch. I probably never should have thrown a slurve inside. I mean, heck it. With no energy left, let's just do it. Let's throw another changeup away and see what happens. Another one. Okay, so if you got someone who swings early, throw changeup away. There's my analysis. All right, internet. So this was a weird, long, silly recording. But in my experience with Kerry Wood, which spans 12 and two-third innings, not all of which you saw in this video, I did use him in the event a little bit earlier to finish up some NL Central team affinity stuff. But in 12 and two-thirds, I have a 3.55 ERA, which I suppose mostly all-star is pretty good. A .47 whip, that's very good. My experience, Kerry Wood might not let up a ton of hits, but he's gonna let up ding-dongs. A ton. If you can live with that, maybe you could be okay with Kerry Wood. You guys just saw, like, I was doing everything I could. We basically only faced lefties, and it was not super easy. I just don't think he has a put-away pitch. Maybe that's just me. You can, of course, make Kerry Wood a lot better if you put any sort of captain boost on him. I do most of these videos. I say 90% of these pitching videos without the boost, just to show you how they'd operate on their own. If you want to slap a boost on him, go right ahead. But YouTube, that will do it for this, again, very odd, strange, silly recording. But let me know, what do you think about Kerry Wood? I know there's not a lot of time left in Season 1, so our time with Kerry is fleeting. But will you be using him for the remainder of Season 1? Let me know. I'm curious your thoughts. Thanks to those of you who made it to the end. Either way, I love you all, and I will see you next time.